Hey everyone, this project is quite a bit different than my normal projects, but incorporates 3D printing, which I'd like to do more of. Ultimately, the problem is that spacesuits are needed to protect astronauts from the intense radiation in space, and currently weigh too much to be useful for in-person Martian exploration. I have a buddy that is working on a project to try to develop some new polymers that can do just as good of job protecting, but at a much lighter weight. The issue he is having is that he needs to spin material held in these test tubes in a centrifuge, but the bottom of the test tube has a conical shape, whereas the centrifuge adapter has a spherical shape. The material is heavy enough and being spun fast enough that the test tube gets forced to take the shape of the bottom of the adapter and eventually breaks making a mess and not doing anything to get us closer to Mars. Unfortunately, these adapters are expensive enough that the correct ones would use too much of the budget. Thankfully, for the sake of humanity's eventual salvation, I have a 3D printer and offered to make new adapters. Since he needs the original adapter back pretty quickly, I'm making a reference circle on a piece of masking tape just to make sure the printed parts are close enough to the right size. Now, I just need to model the new adapters. Modeling a round base on the outside of the adapter proved to make the printing more difficult, so I confirmed that it can be flat on the bottom and remodeled it. I also realized I didn't math well and the original diameters were too small. For testing purposes, I shortened the overall length to reduce the waste of material but still allow me to check tolerances. Here's the first test print that was obviously way too small. The preceding print was the proper diameter, but had a host of other issues including excessive stringing and poor layer adhesion, but aside from that, the bottom of the test tube fits well and seems to make a lot of contact with the adapter. Quite a few test prints later and some early stops, I was continuing to maintain the proper size but still kept having issues getting a high quality print. Even though each iteration was slightly better than the previous, none of these ended up as nice as I wanted.
These bad prints aren't a total waste though. Despite their ugly appearance, they will be handy for test tube stands on the desk. The primary reason these weren't usable is because the stringing was causing a buildup on the nozzle and would eventually mess up the print before it finished. After quite a bit of tinkering, I finally got the printer settings dialed in. It's slow, but it works really well. I had plenty of time for the anticipation to build, but they had finally finished. As you can see, the finished adapters printed incredibly nicely with virtually zero stringing and what looks like exceptional layer adhesion. Although the layers are still visible and there is a slight texture to the surface, it is still 3D printing and very difficult to get a slick surface without some kind of chemical or heat processing after the print is finished. Also, especially when compared side by side to the original test prints, the final prints came out very well and look great. Most importantly, the test tubes fit snugly and should have very little room for catastrophic deformation. Last but not least, they seem to also be of the proper diameter. It was a bit more work than I intended to get the printer working correctly with the new version of Cura, but in the end, I'm really happy with how these turned out, which should make doing more 3D printing projects in the future much easier. Hopefully this video is worth watching. Hit that thumbs up if you want to see more 3D printing projects. Leave a comment with any thoughts, and as always, thanks for watching.